My teaching philosophy is we don't know everything, so let's try it and see what happens. These kids are smart, they have incredible imaginations, they may figure something out we don't know. My job is just to give them the tools. I'm John Hughes, I teach at Wailuku Elementary School, and I teach Hawaiian Studies in STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. When I was a kid, my fondest memories were with my grandfather in his shop on Oahu, and he taught me everything I know. He fostered that sense of inquiry and inquisitiveness, and if I can get the kids to feel that same sense of wonder, I've done my job. What I like about this class is that it's just like a place where you can just be yourself. You're free to do whatever you want. Even if it's like bad and it doesn't look that good, you're still free to print it. It was actually exciting and happy. And when you grow up, it makes you want to be like an engineer, an astronomer, a scientist, a mechanic, and a computer guy. I come here every morning recess, lunch recess, and after school. I like that I could learn about like astronomy and how to 3D print. Some of the projects we've worked on in class here have ranged from simple structural builds, teaching the kids how to make objects in 3D on the computer and then transfer it to printing it out on a 3D printer, to slightly more advanced things involving printing a working 3D printed airplane, Polynesian voyaging canoes that can float. I 3D printed a articulated dragon and a skeleton. Right now I'm making a helicopter because I really like seeing things that fly and how their physics work. My favorite project was going on top of the computer and taking pictures of comets, stars, other things. For astronomy, I do the, the same thing Galileo did. Galileo said, look through the telescope. He didn't expect anybody to take him at his word. He wanted them to look for themselves. Las Cumbres Observatory is an incredible resource. It is accessed via computer, and we get our access from Dr. J.D. Armstrong with the UH Institute for Astronomy. And the children have an amount of hours assigned to them every semester, and they can go in and they can submit their proposals. Like, I'll use an example, Adriana wanted to observe one of the Messier objects. So she used the interface for the LCO to set up the camera with all its filters and exposure time and everything. And then because she now knows what time it's gonna rise and set and everything, she can set when to take the pictures, how many pictures to take and everything. And then locks it in and the telescope sits there till it reaches her allotted time and then it comes online, does what it's supposed to do emails us the pictures and goes back to waiting for the next person who's gonna use it. In Hawaiian history, they'd look at the Pleiades and they'd use it in navigation and a bunch of other really cool stuff. And I took that picture by going to the telescope programming and all of that, and it looked really hard. But then when Mr. Hughes showed it to me, I figured it out. Me and my friends really wanted to see that comet so that's what we did. And after we realized on how fun it was, so I wanted to find more comets, more stars, look at the planets, and find another asteroid in the belt. There are several students that three years ago when I met them, I would have never thought they were where they are now. They are just so bright and so sharp. They were just waiting for somebody to sit and talk to them and show them. All students are like that. They just, they just need the attention, the care, the guidance, the mentoring, and they do great. This class makes me happy because it brings a lot of people together and collab with each other. This class makes me feel like excited and happy that I'm doing all of this. And it makes me feel like I'm supposed to be here. <laughs>